Hey, chili heads, welcome back to Red or Green. We're still celebrating the upcoming Super Bowl, and I hope you are too, and planning your snacks for your Super Bowl party. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some dry spiced chicken wings. These chicken wings are at a whole nother level. They're so delicious. You're gonna be wanting to make these for every party coming up. There is actually this restaurant here in town that I think makes some of the best wings around. And they, what they do is they cook them really crispy and then they dust them in this dry spice, which has, you know, red chili spice, paprika, cayenne, garlic, onion, all of these great flavors. You're gonna love this. And then we're gonna make some homemade buffalo sauce. And that's pretty easy. You know, we're using uh, my favorite hot sauce along with some butter. It's delicious. And then we're gonna make some homemade blue cheese dressing, which is also delicious, but you know, you could also just buy a jar of ranch or blue cheese from the store. It's up to you. We went a little bit um, above and beyond for this recipe, but I know you're gonna like it. And if you do make this recipe, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Also, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, hit post notifications. That way, whenever we release a new video, you get notified right away. Also, if there are any dishes you'd like to see on the channel, leave it in the comments below. We'll do our best to get it on the channel in the future. All right, we've got everything we need here, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start by preheating my air fryer to 400. If you don't have an air fryer, you can also do these in the oven. Just preheat the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes. Next, I'm going to cut up my wings. I wanna separate the leg and the wing. Once I'm done cutting up all the wings, I'm gonna pat them dry with paper towels. This is an important step so that the wings are very crispy. Next, to a large bowl, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch, along with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna drop all of my wings in here and make sure that they all get very well coated. The cornstarch is also gonna to help to make the wings very crisp. Now spray the bottom of the air fryer slightly with some nonstick spray. Add the wings, layer them evenly into the air fryer. You don't wanna overcrowd them so that they don't get soggy. Next, I'm gonna cook them for about 25 minutes, making sure that I flip them over at the halfway mark. Now it's on to our dry rub. I'm gonna start by adding two tablespoons of red chili powder, along with half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cayenne powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Next, I'll add about one and a half teaspoons of salt, along with about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna mix this all until it's completely combined and set it aside. Now it's on to our blue cheese dressing. I'm gonna start by adding about a cup of crumbled blue cheese into a bowl. along with half a cup of Greek yogurt and about a quarter cup of milk of your choice. I'll add some salt and pepper and just mix this up until it's nice and creamy and combined. Now set this aside. It's the halfway mark and I'm turning my wings over so that the other side gets nice and crispy. Now let's move on to making our buffalo sauce. Melt about three tablespoons of butter into a small pan. And add in one bottle of your favorite hot sauce. Mine happens to be Texas Pete. 
I'll also add just a little bit of garlic powder here. I'm only using about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, but it adds just that little extra flavor. Now set this aside. I'm also going to pair these wings with some of the classic flavors here using some celery. Once the wings are cooked, I'm going to add them back into my large bowl and toss them in the dry spice. Make sure that all of the wings get coated. Now it's time to plate this up. I'm going to layer the chicken wings in here, along with my celery, my blue cheese sauce, and my buffalo sauce. I hope you make this recipe. These are delicious. Enjoy.